Hey, I'm Brad with Fix This, Build That, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this State Pride magnetic key holder. It's got three big old magnets, so you can store your keys in West, Middle, or East Tennessee, or any state of your choice. Let's check out how we made it. The materials for this build are very easy. All you're gonna need is a piece of wood. The size that you make this is all dependent upon the size of the state and the shape of the state that you want. I'm using Tennessee here, so I have a nice long piece. Also, three magnets. These are rare earth magnets. I'll have a link down below in the description, as well as where you can find the state outlines that I use to get this print out. This wood is still in rough form, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it through the planer, get it to the size I want, and then start tracing my shape. The walnut board I started with was just over an inch thick, and I wanted my final piece to be a half inch. So I ran the board through the planer until both sides were flat, and then I took the board over to my joiner to get a flat edge and a 90 degree angle between the edge and the face. I used these flat surfaces to get an accurate resaw on the bandsaw, and I cut them into two half inch pieces. The bandsaw leaves a rough surface on the board, so I adjusted my planer down, and then I ran the board through again to get two smooth sides. I just used a lot of tools here to get to this point, but you could just as easily use a 1x4 dimension board as your starting point and not need any of this. I cut my print out to rough shape, and then I noticed the long state lines were slightly curved. I used a straight edge and I drew the line straight for easier shaping. Feel free to alter your state lines for easier production. Got everything laid out now. Now we just need to stick the template down to the wood so that we can cut it out with the jigsaw and or the bandsaw. I'm gonna use some spray adhesive for that. Just do a light coat because you don't want it to stick to the wood too hard so that it's hard to get off. I only spray the adhesive on the paper template and not on the wood so it would release easily. I lined up the long edges of the shape with the grain lines and I stuck it in place and smoothed it out. I used my bandsaw to do the shaping, but I've also used the jigsaw to do these in the past. If you have a scroll saw with a spiral cut blade, that would be even better. I cut the long edges of the state first, and then I came back and used a series of cuts to remove most of the material. For the detailed curves, I nibbled away at the ends, and while these worked, it does leave a lot of ridges to be sanded out later. So take your time here and be careful. If you can avoid making any deep gouges past the template outline, then it's gonna make your job in the next stage a lot easier. After I made all the cuts, I peeled off the template and you can see how nicely it came off. And hey, it kinda of looks like Tennessee, so that's a plus two. Now for the sanding, lots of sanding. I changed over to my oscillating sander and this guy here is worth its weight in gold on this type of project. I used the belt to sand the top and the bottom edges flat, and then I changed out the belt and put on my smallest spindle I had. This worked for the entire eastern edge of the state, since the curves there are fairly subtle. For the western edge of the state, I wasn't so lucky. Thanks a lot, Mississippi River. I hit it with files, sanding sticks, and sanding discs to get it into the nooks and the crannies, and then I sanded the whole thing to 220 grit. Okay, I just got this all sanded up, it's looking good. Now I'm gonna lay out the holes in the back for the magnets, the rare earth magnets that are gonna go in here. I'm gonna space these out evenly along the bottom of my state, your state, you can put them wherever you want to. I'm gonna mark here in the hole. To drill the holes for the magnets, I set the depth stop on my drill press so that the point of the bit stopped just above the wasteboard on the table. You want to drill as deep as possible without going through the board. If you're using a hand drill, then mark your bit with blue tape so you know when to stop. I used a one and a quarter Fortzner bit to drill the holes. The magnets are actually 1.26 inches, so I quickly sanded their edges with 80 grit paper to remove a little material before the install. All right, now that we've got the holes drilled in the back for the magnets, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. I'm not gonna use any epoxy or anything because the fit is extremely tight. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in. I'm gonna use a punch. All right, I got everything in here and here, just a little test. I'm gonna take this punch and it fit, work, whoa. <laughs> it's actually uh, pretty strong. So this is gonna work well with a set of keys. So I'm gonna put a finish on this and then we'll put the mounting hardware and we'll be done.
I decided to go with boiled linseed oil for the finish. I was contemplating a film finish like polyurethane or lacquer, but I figured it's going to get scratched up either way. And the oil finish is going to be very easy to repair and blend with just some light sanding and reapplying more oil when needed. I came back the next day and I mounted the hanging hardware. I laid out the hardware and then I pre-drilled for the screws. I used the blue tape trick again here that I mentioned earlier so I wouldn't go too deep. The screws that came with this hardware were 5 eighths of an inch so I had to nip the ends off of the screws so they wouldn't poke through the front of my half inch piece. I installed the screws and that's it. I'm all done. There's a link down below in the description. You can check out my blog post where I've got a full detail of everything that I've showed you today as well as some other state shapes. Like if you're from Colorado or Wyoming, you might want to check out these state shapes because those are pretty difficult. Subscribe down below, like and comment. Tell me what state shape you're going to make. And until next time guys, get out there and build something awesome.